Hafide and Aloha, Pacific Warriors. I wanted to put a quick video together before this upcoming August UTA, because just like a year ago, we are in a COVID surge right now. And I wanted to let you know what we're expecting this weekend going into a hybrid UTA, as well as getting you some updated information about COVID. The recent surge on COVID-19 because of the Delta variant on both of our islands are really driving this weekend's hybrid. It is super clear. Because of the Delta variant, our enemy has changed, but luckily our weapons to fight that enemy have remained the same. On both of our islands, the Delta variant accounts for over 80% of the current contagion, and right now it is over two times as contagious as the original COVID virus we were facing. Non-vaccinated individuals are much more likely to be hospitalized and quicker with the Delta variant. And now on both of our islands and in our units, we have breakthrough cases. So even vaccinated have had uh, COVID incidents, but almost never require hospitalization at this point. The key is, is that vaccines work. Most of you have seen by this point, the latest SecDef memo will make them mandatory for all DOD service members, probably by the midway of September. That means we will all be vaccinated, likely during the September drill period. But my question to you is if you're not vaccinated, why wait? Right now is when we need the most people to go and get vaccinated to try to curb this current COVID surge. Right now is when you and your families need this protection because it's so contagious on both of our islands. So please consider getting vaccinated this weekend. We have vaccines available on both islands, both our MUs. Please contact your supervisor as well as our ASTS and AMDF if you're interested in getting vaccinated this weekend. We knew this wasn't going to be a straight line. We knew that it was going to ebb and flow in terms of our quality of life, as well as our interaction, as well as uh, the virus itself. Uh, but I know, at least for me, this is quite a blow, quite a morale blow, uh, to be able to operate as, as highly as we did uh, in person in June, to see all your faces again, and then have to go right back into masks, having a lot of our community uh, locked back down again, a lot of our events, threatening schools again, things like that. It is, it is definitely a blow. But I'll tell you what, just like we were a year ago. I am striving for our units to be your sense of purpose and your ability to really be that third leg of the stool to be here for you as you need. And of course, we're moving into this UTA to keep you and your families as safe as possible. So again, this UTA will be hybrid format. We do have a lot of clinic that we need to knock out because it's a fenced admin UTA. Uh, so your um, RMUs will be getting a hold of you in terms of appointment schedules. We are going to push fit to fight one more month at least to the right because right now it just doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of the, the risk benefit analysis of getting back into fit to fight. But please keep working out, keep getting ready because those tests are coming back. And also a reminder that masks are mandatory indoors for those who are vaccinated and unvaccinated. Last reminder, please, if you're feeling ill at all, please don't come to work. Please make sure that you're contacting your chain of command and letting us know so that we can get you tested. Thank you to everybody for your patience, your resilience, and your flexibility. Let's make it count. Pacific Warriors, aloha and half a day. I'm Chief Young, your group's senior enlisted leader. I'd like to start by welcoming home our deployers. Within the last few weeks, we've seen 16 Pacific Warriors return home to their families and units after a long deployment in the CENTCOM and AFRICOM AORs. Welcome back. We're so happy you're home safe. I'd like to tell you about the Air Force Connect app. It's a way for us to engage with you throughout the month with news, information, and updates. If you haven't downloaded it yet from your smartphone, search for USAF Connect from the Favorites menu look for 624th Regional Support Group and start exploring. From there, you'll find the fiscal year 22 UTA schedule, military resources, base agency contacts, and even UTA checklists. 
We've recently added an Ask the Chief function. If you have a question about something, need more information, or are simply curious about why we do something a particular way, I want to engage with you, and this is one way to get answers. Inquiries will come straight to me, and I'll respond back to you. You can even submit questions anonymously, and the answers will be posted within the app. Pacific Warriors, I hope you have a fantastic August UTA. I'll see you soon.